Here we go, it's the last day of 2017. Ron and Gordon are set up the gazebo. And as you can see, it's a bit warmer today, still a little breeze, but yeah, it's just a, a cooling breeze, nothing to get excited about. And this could end in tragedy. Do these guys have a license to fly a gazebo? I don't know. See ya, and uh, the skies are blue-ish. Bit of cloud around, but not too bad. If we had worse, it's certainly a change from last week, which was really crappy and here we go, so stay tuned for today's exciting events, last flying day of 2017. We won't be flying again till next year. Oh, such a long way away. That'll be interesting. Gordon and Wings. Here we go. Beautiful, that was great. Fantastic. Something's wrong, says Gordon. Something's wrong. <laughs> Ron's going out to spot for Mike. Mike's got his Volantex Ranger with all manner of flight control-y stuff in there. It's got a Pixwalk, I think, and all sorts of stuff. It also has a Cadex camera, which I'll be reviewing very early in the new year in my RC Model Reviews channel. They're just marvelling at the wind is blowing straight down the runway. And meanwhile, in the paddock, what's Gordon doing? He's still coming. Still, I told him that you couldn't fly a roll of toilet paper, but he wouldn't believe me. But he's happy. It's good when people are happy. We're here at the 2017 year-end porn convention. What's in there, Ron? There's a dead rabbit. There's <laughs> <laughs> a stinky G-man. That's going down the runway, down the horse track. What's that? Thermal oh yeah, willy willy. Look at that, eh? Thermals are out in force yeah, today. Gordon in a yeah, I thought Gordon got carried away. <laughs> no, it stopped. It's waiting for him to catch up. Yeah. He's dissipated it. Must be all that toilet roll he's got, eh? Look, he's still going. Reeling it in. Does he not know we have conveniences at the other end of the airfield? He's got to wrap around his elbow too, hasn't he? No. Oh. <laughs> so he. <laughs> He's happy. Here comes the wind. It's good to see a man with a purpose, isn't it? Yeah, slung, it picks up, it picks up, it goes back. I think it was that thermal going past that did it, Ron. Yeah. So what's Mike doing? He's programming his. Um, He's ringing up the plane. He's given the call. Yeah. He's getting clearance, is he? You logged into that new air map app getting clearance for your flight. Um, not yet. Okay. What was on the end of it? Just all, it was all loose. Yeah. It was all loose, just bundled, bundled, bundled up. Yeah, well, can't you roll it up tighter than that? Did they, well, have a a, car, they didn't have a cardboard coin. First they? time anyone's ever rolled a bloody roll of dunny paper up, I've had. No, the people in the factory <laughs> rolled it up before they sold it. Yeah, yeah. not by hand though. <laughs> Gordon uh, did it by hand. Yeah, Bruce, all ready to go for you again. Yeah, hook thanks, that, mate. Hook that in and give it another so, go. So you're a scruncher, not a folder, then? I'm, I'm a roller, mate. I'm <laughs> He's a, a roller, roller, not a folder. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a roller. Next yeah. time I go like that and it goes... How's it, it go wrong? Floor, you know, when you pull the toilet along. Yeah, yeah. Onto you the get floor. to ring me and nobody can pull them Hey Gordon, while he's rolling up, I get him like me bum. If he oh. charge, if he charge for that service, he'd be flush, eh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he might be a bit overpowered by paper, Would though. You change mm -hmm. that to backside rescue. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I forgot to tell him, uh, Ron, that was a used roll. Was it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's only on one side, though. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. can do, use it over. It's double sided. And Mike's still going with his phone. That should be flat soon. What's the time in London, Mike? <laughs> Two heads past the prickle. Well, that's the wind, Ron. I mean, Gordon, that's what happens yeah, with wind. It makes it windy. Just took a shake. Yeah. So many switches. How can you remember? I don't know. He's practicing. Is he going out by the plane? Yeah. Can't you do this from home? Yeah. <laughs> battery charge for this black thing, yeah? So I should be able to whiz around with that. Have a whiz, Gordon. You got the toilet paper for it? Yep. Here comes Bruce. Where? Where? Easy way. Easy way. Here we go. Easy way. Look. Oh, left, right. He's off. It's up. It's going. It's away. 
Is it you playing around with the throttle or is it just doing it itself? Yeah, so. Was it got a throttle sensor or something on it? Uh, no, that was auto. He's got the throttle on a gyro, Gordon. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you have one gyro, it makes it much smoother. Look, she's all, all the gizmos here, mate. Everything you could want and a whole lot more. This is going to be exciting. This Ron's, Ron's yeah, flying. Yeah, 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 too many yeah. switches for Ron. Just, just straight. Is it? Oh, yeah, I'm still, I can still control it. Where's the throttle switch, Ron? It's on the left. Okay. Where's it gone? Can't see it. It's vanished. Oh, there it is, way over there. This is Ron's flying. Isn't he smooth? He's very smooth. That's full aileron. Yeah, because it limits the... Uh... Angular bank, mate. Limited bank. So you don't get into trouble, Ron. Yeah. You, you're flying very out of focus at the moment. It won't go up. Hey? It won't go up. If you put more power on it. Yeah. Try return to hill. You won't, you won't hear where's, him, mate. Where's the voltage? Got chairs and everything now, we're all good to go. 16 minutes. 16 minutes. Yes, this way you can eat his oats while he's flying. It's fantastic. Is he getting any break up here? Or? No, it's clear as. There's a little bit of break up in this one. Well, this one's out in the clear, you're under the gazebo. That's probably why. Oh, you got a little bit of flicker then, but that was bug all. Where are you? Right there. Right. Come down lower. Oh, right, yeah. What voltage do you reckon we are now? 15.23. How many people does it take to fly a plane, eh? Right, well. Until the hill gets in the way. Yeah. Look at this. Beautiful. Look at that. Landing at 400 miles an hour. Brilliant. <laughs> Did you clap, Ron? Or was that just just one of the diseases you caught in your youth? <laughs> Nine and a half. The toilet paper's going to have a go. Give it a biff, Gordon. It's away. Look at that. Eh? They are sonic thing. They fly so nicely. Mike's going to throw his little wing. This is the one that nearly took our heads off last weekend, so it could be interesting. Doesn't really throw it, eh? He just lets it go. Oh, there goes on. Neil and his big green frog Holden. Oh, look at the lights. Loose wires on the lights. Had loose wires on the lights, mate. Yes, it will be. Someone else coming. Hugging the hangers. Yeah. What's he doing? He's heading straight for Neil's car. Oh no, what's gonna happen? Is he asleep at the wheel? Stop! Oh, that was close. He's flashing his lights too. That was a gorgeous landing room. What are you compl Look, yeah. he didn't even have to walk for it, mate. It's perfect. That's fantastic. Yeah, here comes Gordon. Where's Gordon? I can't see Gordon's plane. Yeah, here it comes. Short. Okay. Yeah, man, sure. You're just on the edge, eh? Beautiful. <laughs> Got some professionals out here today. ESC, yeah, what have you got, Ron? Yeah, yeah, but it'd be a brushed ESC, won't it? Yeah. What yeah. have you got here, Ron? Tell the people what you got here. It's a um, jumping jack. Yeah. Whoa. It's an electric powered radio controlled <laughs> airplane. Is it? And what are you going to do with that? Crasher. Oh, no. It's too nice. Yeah. yeah. It's had a few crashes. Did you build it yourself, Ron? Yeah, I built, just built it now out of the back of Neil's car. <laughs> it needs a. Um, Oh, it's get thing, I think. I'd get in it by taking that top canopy off. Yeah, the top canopy off. probably comes off, Ron. It's probably just taped yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah, it's only. Yeah. yeah so you're going to wait for the wind to get up before you fly it? Yeah. Yeah, yes, I think so. I think the whole the whole thing comes off. Yeah, I've had that trouble in the past. Yeah. Yeah, that's, no, that's beauty. Yeah, it's only taped on. So taped on. 
when you put the 60 in there? Yeah. Yeah, that'd yeah. be good. No, the 60's not running properly. <laughs> yeah, well, it might as well not run properly in that. It's too, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It'd have to be inverted, eh? Yeah. yeah don't like inverted. Yeah, Listen to those good. gears. <laughs> it's got a geared brushed oh, motor in it. Beauty. That would be so powerful, really. So old. So old. Yeah, it's vintage Ron. You oh, can see, see that, what, that pl plug thing in there. Here comes a cess. Now, didn't do an overhead, just coming straight and just came downwind. And he's turning onto the runway. It's a diesel powered one. Yeah, power come on in a minute when he realises. Nah, it's a student. He'll probably land it at the far end. Focus. So he's coming in downwind, as students so often do. He's got all his flap on. See these people, they don't do an overhead, so if we're flying models, I didn't hear a radio call. Was there a radio call, Ron? No. I didn't hear one either. Who was it? Downwind landing. Is it Ardmore or someone? Who was it? Yeah, this will be the bit. It's at New Zealand Flight School, isn't it? Look at him. And just, just to confirm, let's just go around to the windsock. Here's the windsock. So it was a downwind landing. <laughs> Jeez. Ron's flying over here. Got his train star. And the breeze. At least it's warm today. Much better than the last week. A lot of preparation required with these flight controllers, really. You spend all day flicking switches and twisting knobs. Oh, there's Ron. Yep, bit of wind's heat. <laughs> wind's with us again. Oh. Off again. Whoa, that was a bit Chinese, Ron. See the sky, the blue is getting replaced by grey. It was a good start to the day, but it's supposed to rain for the next week after today. How crap is that? Beautiful Ron. How's Mike going? He's getting set to go. Mm. A beeping going on out there. I think I mowed that grass. Whoa! <laughs> if at first you don't succeed, skydiving's not the sport for you. Into the wild blue yonder. Oh, where's it going? No, right. 
I think he's on the glide, Ron. I think it's out of fuel. Yeah. Yeah, most, yeah, there's probably a bit stuck in the bottom of the tank. Yeah. It's a bit dodgy, isn't it? Where are you going, Mike? Where's it going, Ron? Never know. Auto land. I think it's going to be auto crash. <laughs> Where is it? Maybe yeah, for that green hole. Isn't it? Yeah. It's coming back in there. The one way again, like it did the other day. Who's going to take out the gazebo? I don't know. Dodgy ass. Yeah. <laughs> Ron, what's your New Year's resolution, mate? Have one next year. One what? A New Year. <laughs> Is that it? Yeah. It's very disappointing, Ron. Yeah, well, every year's a bonus now. Yeah, every ground, every day above ground's a good one. Yep. Yeah. yeah, so you got any plans for the New Year, though? No. Oh, geez, you're boring as batshit, mate. Yeah, I know. What's going on there? I've got a new bottle to make. What's the name? I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs>